Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, yeah, <laughs> the first time I called, you know, when you get Parkinson's, you you don't know what really path to take, and you 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 try to do the right thing. So we were going through all the kind of traditional processes, like. We went to Mayo Clinic and um, we had a, a movement uh, specialist and they had given us all the conventional medicines. And um, so when I first contacted Amarik, it was it was kind of just figuring out what was going on. Well, after a year, we were still searching for help. And um, and it was a very serendipitous thing where we called her and, oh, my gosh, I remember it's you. And. And, um, we remembered talking and so we did come in for a consultation and, um, that was about a year ago now. Yeah. Um, and we, you know, at that time you were dealing with just a lot of Parkinson's is such a different disease for everybody that has it, but you were dealing with some tremors and, um, anxiety, uh, sleeping issues yeah. and just basic kind of functioning throughout the day. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And, um, here we are a year later, Dr. Whitney had said, look, I, I don't haven't traded and treated a lot of people with Parkinson's, but I would like to try it. And, um, so we kind of came in and got this sort of family package because I have problems with my shoulders, which have gone away, uh, completely. So that's another part of this that we could talk about, but in terms of the Parkinson's a year later, I think it's, it's helped with a lot of just, Overall, things yeah. that you couldn't necessarily pin, <clears throat> but mm -hmm. I think your anxiety has lessened. Um, mm -hmm. There's been times where you said, "I forgot to take my pills," right. which never happened before. Um, when it's hard thing on a consistent basis because you go from being lucky to be alive to like wish you're dead. So depending on when you get that answer, but it's stretched out to where the good time it's it's gotten a lot better. I mean, my stress level, I, a year ago, I couldn't go in Home Depot and ask questions. And now it's like, no problem. And I don't know if that's it, you know, because along with that, um, I, I did the uh, uh, testosterone. testosterone, yeah. <clears throat> and I intentionally quit that before I came in here because I wanted to find out whether the stem cell was going to work or not. So it's really done what Bo was saying. It's that I've forgotten to take my medicine once in a while before is like, it's, it's going to be two o'clock. You know, I'm going to take it before. I couldn't get enough of it. It's just dopamine. And uh, so now, I, I just a few weeks ago, I, I started taking the, the uh, testosterone again. And that's really made a difference because it's made me stronger. And uh, I think the whole thing's been more, I, I'm realizing now how, how much more effective the stem cell is. And my story really, my story is that I went to Mayo and they pretty much were just documenting everything. I'd, they, I'd walk down the hallway and they'd say, try and keep your left hand up or swing your arms or whatever. And it was it just wasn't getting any better. Than, and so I, we found this little lady that is an expert or she only, she only has patients from, uh, with Parkinson's. Parkinson's yeah. I'm, I'm forgetful. So I have to once in a while need a little help with that. But, um, but anyway, the offering is just not there. It's like, okay, you have more dopamine if you want, and we, we can operate in your brain or you give it some in your stomach, if you, you know, if you like that. And I'm like, and they had one where you breathe in and you had to have somebody come out and actually be there because, and I thought, it was that scary. It's something, what's going to happen to me? So anyways, that's kind of my story. I mean, I'm not very complete and on camera i'm yeah. not the guy <laughs> well you know it's funny because you know i never going to win any awards because we're talking on the camera so it <laughs> makes me nervous i think you're doing good and i uh, i think uh that's true like we we went to mayo clinic and, and they they did they gave us lepidoba and they give you this typical pharmaceutical yeah. things you can do but after that they don't really tell you there's any other options it really wasn't helping i was i was kind of not progressing way I thought and really what the lady did with that deals with Parkinson's she's just doubled the dosage yeah so when we found another <laughs> and she's supposed to be the expert and specialist it's like if you need something like she calls me every four months and like goes through this process like are you passing out are you tripping are you uh just hallucinating hallucinating and it's kind of like for her so she didn't get sued I believe <laughs> I mean that isn't fair to say but it's kind of like that's kind of the end of the road 
Mm -hmm. And all the things they say about Parkinson's, like, the Calvary's not coming. <laughs> Sorry, this, this is what we got, you know. And that is really, and yeah, so when we were talking with you, that was what we were, and you're like, I think it could help. And it's, it's um, for us, it has, I think what another thing he's mentioned is it, it feels like it gave him where he was a few years ago. Yeah. You know, it, and it, it's not something that just Parkinson's doesn't just go away. And that's the hard part about it. And, but it, it does feel like it's really, and giving us confidence that it's helping him was like my shoulders, which I was going to talk about. I, I, I had done the same thing. I went through all the conventional methods where you get a steroidal shot, you get your cortisol, you get, and then you get, you know, physical therapy. And then I did a lot with diet and stretching and yoga. And I just, I did that for probably two and a half years. I spent a lot of money and I didn't want to get surgery because I've had surgeries before that they don't always work, you know, and if they do, it's great. But, um, so coming in here and thinking I'm going to help him out and then finding out that, um, wow, we could do some injections on the shoulders and I couldn't raise my left arm over my head. I mean, and now I, I kite surf. So I do a lot of really physical stuff and it's really given me that mobility back. Uh, and so that's why I'm here to, you know, recommend this to anybody. That you know, what kind of started too is a Mel Gibson, uh, Joe, uh, Ro what's his name? Joe yeah. Rogan? There was a Joe Rogan interview. He, yeah. For about, uh, about an hour. Uh -huh. And he talked about his bringing his father and he was 90 years old and he was close to death. And now he's 101 or something like that. Yeah. He cleared up all those, those symptoms within weeks, I guess. I mean, yeah. that's what kind of motivated me. Well, it's hard to find information and go ahead. Mom. The other thing that I think happened is I don't think any of us were going to go. We came for Roger. And then when he started to talk about the fact that he works with a lot of autistic kids and they have such anxiety issues. And that's mm. the biggest thing I've noticed with Roger. He has that downtime at the end of the day and that anxiousness just, I mean, he couldn't go anywhere socially or do anything. And now he can force himself through it, even if he doesn't always want to. But I think that made it different. But then we started talking about it. And then Bo said, well, I think I'd like to have it for my shoulder. And then they look at me like, well, what do you need? Mm -hmm. I think, well, I have a few problems too, a few <laughs> problems with my joints. Mm -hmm. So then it got to be the family plan. And it, it got to be kind of interesting that way. But. I think we've all benefited by doing it together because you can see the differences in someone else more than you can see it in yourself. I can definitely see it in his shoulders and Roger's anxiousness and my joints, my well sense of well-being, I think it has really helped quite a lot. So you can't put your finger on everything. It's not like a pill where it's just going to go around, go away tomorrow and... and that's the biggest thing is to, to accept the, the changes in your life because you're used to saying how bad things are, you know. And we've <laughs> all improved it. our diet. Yeah. You know, we've done a lot of, we have always tried to be a bit healthy, but I think we've really stepped up the game and probably because of the stem cells too, you, you feel like, well, you got to do your best to do the other stuff too. So I think it's going to benefit that way. So motivated you guys into some more lifestyle right. changes, right? Do you want to talk a little bit more about your hands? Yeah, uh, I I never even thought I had rheumatoid arthritis. I I have a little bit of osteoarthritis, I think, but I was noticing that my hands are getting those shapes. You know, my dad always used to say, "I just hope your fingers don't get all crooked." <laughs> oh, they're mm -hmm. kind of crooked. I can see it, but. Uh, he gave me an injection last time and I was kind of fearful of it, but I know that Bo did it on his shoulder and, and I know that a certain part of your body, it's not going to work as well. So last time he gave me just a little dose to see if it made a difference. And I can definitely see there's a different kind of pain in, in each hand. I'm kind of glad I did both hand, one hand over the other. So I can see I'm going to get more today, and I think that is really going to help. And they think my fingers are better, so I Excuse me. I don't know. But I mainly it's well-being with me. Do you know what I mean? I can, I can see a lot of just feel a little 
peppier. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's hard to put your finger on it, but. I feel like I've noticed that, you know, they, the two of them have a little more energy and a little more, you know, I don't know, like a Dr. Whitney mentioned a constitution sometimes mm -hmm. to you just, you have a little more focus uh, and I just see them. It's, it, it is subtle and yet it does seem to affect a lot of different parts mm -hmm. as well. So it's subtle mm -hmm. and it's a lot. Um, and the other thing I've noticed is there is a, you're, you you want to have this instant gratification a lot of times mm -hmm. and that it feels to me like my shoulders, you know, they, they got better and then they continued to get better. And I still feel that it's, it's, it's a, it's a process where you, you, you worry it's going to go away and then it, mm -hmm. it actually is the opposite of that. It kind of keeps getting a little bit better and better. And I do think <clears throat> you, you, you have a little more optimism about the fact that you can do something to help yourself feel better. You might yeah. not be what you were when you were younger, but you, you have a little bit more optimism about, yeah, I can keep it at bay. I can do pretty much what I want to do or what I need to do. So I think that's helped too. I think, I and think uh, we actually, <clears throat> we really like coming here. I mean, we don't like driving down here and we don't like that part of it, but We've we like the team. Everybody's yeah, been very, very uh, helpful and made it fun and we've laughed. And um, I, I think that's been another Well, it could advantage. have been a stressful situation yeah. for me. It's like, yeah. thank you for... And that's another thing. Roger, he had a pick terrible with the, the, the um, IV. IV. Yeah. And I'm not saying it's perfect now either. But he's not afraid. He's he 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 can come down and kind of handle it, and that yeah. that is actually a pretty good sign when you think about it's it. It's gotten easier because it really bothered you at first to think oh, about it. Oh I yeah, I, I wonder whether I could do it or not. You know, yeah, right. You know, one time, yeah, or sit here, and it's you have been able to do it now quite yeah. a bit. It's interesting yeah. to look back now and think about it. Because you don't think about that. I didn't even think about that until we just talked about it, how nervous you were about that IV the first time you came. Right. And, yeah. And everybody has been helpful, really. Good team. Thank you. I think that's that's a really good point. I completely forgot about that. When we're along for this journey for a year at a time, yeah. it's easy to forget where you started, yeah. Yeah. which is yeah. the beauty of why why we're doing this. Mm -hmm. Really, it's commemorative for, for all of you, right. too. Um, but a little bit more on how the treatment goes itself. IV used to be scary. Yeah. Now you sit through an IV drip, it's maybe Absolutely. 20, 30 minutes. Absolutely. How is that? How are the injections? Yeah. How is during the treatment for you guys? I was going to comment, it has to do with that, but that is a glutathione. Is that like glutathione? Whatever, whatever that you did in the nose or you did that in your, I think that really helped Roger too. He had it at home and would do it. And I, I think right. that really shifted him a little bit. Yes. Yeah, some of like the, what's that? every day for a month, I the think. glutathione. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, some of the stuff that we've taken home has worked and, um, the IV use, the IV process has been pretty easy, right? Like we come in right? and at first we were really scared of it. And now, <laughs> You know, we're oh, kind of used to great. it. Yeah, and the, the whole staff here is <laughs> they're been, happy. To, you know, they're yeah. like, don't be a downer. You know, come on. They're yeah. they're great. Everyone, Amarique and Angela and Doctor Whitney, it all have been yeah. fantastic. And yeah. and Lauren, we loved Lauren when she was here, so it was all good. And yeah, so I mean, really, it's coming in here. You feel more like you know a part of your health process. Whereas if you go to a doctor, you know. They're very uh, just into their world, whereas here you you get more of a a whole sense of how we're doing, and 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 so that has been pretty great too in terms of. But it's like it's hopeful, you know. It's, there's, there's hope here. Something to change, and yeah. I mean, with the doctors, not, not that I, the medical profession doesn't have something to offer. It's kind of like after the billions of dollars, it's like what else you got? I mean, nothing. Yeah, you got some. <laughs> but I mean, for me, that it. was what it, it felt like. It's like. You can, have, you can have more of the pills and the, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of the uh, dopamine, but it's kind of like, I don't know. I mean, 
there's side effects to that too. And that runs out, you know, so you're yeah. constantly worrying when, right. when is that going to happen? And this Diminishing returns and you end up like taking more and getting less. Mm -hmm. So I'm real hopeful of the stem cell. And especially I got these pallets, these testosterone pallets. I know it's probably not a good thing to bring it up, but I, it's given me back to where I was. I was taking it a year ago. And like I said, I stopped taking it just to see what this would feel like. And because I stopped the testosterone, it kind of leveled off, but now I've started, I don't know if it makes sense, but I started taking it again a few weeks ago and now I feel a lot of energy and it works, it works with it really well. So I don't know. If yeah. Well, I think Dr. Whitney does testosterone too. And I mean, there's, this has been a real good step for us and thank you for everything. Amarique, she was the whole, she started it for yeah. us and, um, her enthusiasm. Yeah. Got us back to this yep. very, very place. Yep. Yep, and then, and so it's so nice to know that you do have options, and there isn't. You're not at the end, yeah. and um, just and it's thanks such, for so my much family. more holistic. I think that that's the biggest thing that the doctor that he does see in Mexico is a bit more is more like that too with the testosterone, and I think that benefit has helped because there's not just one way, it, and nothing works for everybody the same. And I I think that. And I think giving stem cells a chance, somebody's got to do it to make any difference. So it's been kind of interesting to be part of that. Well, thank you for being a part of it with us. We absolutely adore you guys. So thank you, thank you.